Good morning guys, welcome to Lost Phoenix Gaming, the home of tips, tricks, guides and tunes to Forza Horizon. And I'm looking at Downhill Dash, Rally Monsters, S1, Volkswagen Beetle, GRC, for the pleasure. You've got Glen Rannock Trail, Whitehorse Trail and Cotswolds and Cotswold Road Rally. And remember guys, if you like Forza, if you like this sort of content, if you're after tips, tricks, guides, tunes and stuff like this check out my other videos hit that subscribe button because i put a lot of stuff out and i'm starting getting into the videos for lego and fortune island as well so definitely follow the channel if you're into that sort of stuff right rally monsters anyone fancy a four capri forza edition <laughs> i haven't got that many of them but i have got a plan for them but there's a few cars you can pick for this one but I've decided I'm going for my old favourite, the Renault 5 Turbo Forza Edition. It's really cheap to get on the auction house. It comes out of wheel spins and we've just had it in the autumn season as a reward for a trial. And I'm going to go for my second tune on this one. It's S1 Snow and there is a little bit of difference in performance but nothing significant but this S1 snow one it's got snow tires on it and it absolutely rocks and this is my daily driver i drive it around like this is my everyday car in forza and okay so let's get this loaded in shall we where are we at first glen rannock trail okay cool let's have a look at this highly skilled i'm turning stability off and turning traction off just because it's more fun that way and Highly skilled is what you need for this because that's basically how you get these championships completed. So pulling away, you've got these Hoonigans, which surprisingly are actually slower than than this Renault. Normally the Hoonigans are pretty overpowered, but I have tuned this up. This is really nice, and I basically drive this as an as an everyday car. And this is awesome. I'm already in fourth place. Going to catch up with these guys. They've gone off on a bit of a mad one. But nothing I can sort of catch up with them on. And there you go, quick nudge before the bridge, and I'm in first place. Okay, let's go up the mountain, shall we? In the snow. Yep, traction stability, right. There's a reason why I turned it off for this. Because I want to be able to slide it round corners a bit better. And the snow tyres on it will definitely sort you out. They're absolutely brilliant. And... Even though I'm sort of hugging a wall here, when it starts getting to tight corners, I don't want to try and turn and all the stability and attractions come on and lock all the wheels up. So I'm going round here, all right. Up the mountain, up the hill, got the checkpoint up here, getting a little bit of a distance going, although smacking the barriers all the way up because I'm being a bit crazy trying to race it, not break too much. And drift round there. Yeah, I'm not doing too badly on this one. This is a cool car. I've been driving this for absolutely ages. It's got loads of miles in it, loads of skill scores. I've got about 11 million skill score on this one. I'll wear this car, which is absolutely fantastic. And this is my own little custom paint job. It's like a ready blue blend. It's, it's a bit weird, but I like it. It looks quite smart. And missed the checkpoint while I was there so hit the rewind and make sure I hit it this time yep click the flag back down the hill give it a little drift round there into a barrier pretty much stopped but you can see I've got a very good lead on this so this car will absolutely hammer this for you get this car get this tune and just have a bit of fun it's also absolutely brilliant when you're trying to build up some skill scores and you're taking it over the hills or across the beach and stuff because you do get skill bonuses and it, you do have some good car masteries with it as well pass that little tent or as I call it the bake off tent and go 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 84% so that's not bad definitely sliding it a little bit but I'm handling this really well and yeah, this is quite a fun championship. When I saw this, when we went in, after the update came out, and I had a look, see what was coming up, and 
sort of making my plans, making my tunes. I thought, you know, I've got to do this. I've got to do this in Moreno because that'll be awesome. And that's got me a first place. Fantastic. There you go. And behind me was a welcome pack WRX. You know, the 199 we used for last week's trial. But back into the map, and where are we off to next? We're after the white ones. What do we got? We got Cotswold Rally Trail. Okay, I'll go for that one next. So let's do a fast travel over and get loaded into this one, shall we? So continue championship, continue event, pick the Renault, and just let it load in with all the silly dancing. Here we go. That's loaded pretty quickly. Cotswold Road Rally Trail. Same sort of stuff, but I'm going to not the traction on for this because it is actually Road Rally. And basically, I don't want to be sliding around too much. Going up the hills and down the hills. Yeah, I can live with that. That's what I want to do. But stick the traction on, leave stability off. And fifth place you guys are messing about a little bit blocking me but i'm not having this i'm getting past this mg this is where you need to be careful because you can quite easily crash into the gates go around here little drift still in fourth you've actually flown off from that welcome pack car but i'll get past you because those welcome pack cars are really overpowered they are seriously stupid and I won't use them for these events because it's a paid DLC and I'm not sort of doing anything which requires you to spend real money. Especially when I know I've got a car like this which can actually handle it as well. And even, to be honest, if you tune up the 199 WRX off the auto show, it can be just as good, if not better, than the welcome pack as I sort of proved when I was doing my trial last week. And you definitely give me a run for my money in this one. Definitely, but I'm going to get past you. Into the wall, bring the back end up a little bit. Nice little jump, slam down the brakes, give it a little spin around the mirror. Okay, first place, come on, let's go. And yeah, okay. With these events, it needs to be two victories in a second place at the minimum in order to win the championship. Because if you don't, you simply don't get enough points. And you do have to complete all three of them. Because some people do think that you just go in and do the first one and that's it. And, well, you don't. Because it's not really sort of explained, especially if you're a new player. There's a lot of stuff in this game which isn't explained too well, but... That's a first place, that's the second first place I've got now. So that gives me another 20 points, giving me a total of 40 out of a possible 60. So one more event, the third event, the final event. And let's go and get this sorted out, shall we? Back into the map and what is left? White one up there, White Horse Hill Trail fast travel and we can get into this and this will be the third event the final event and this is what will get us the championship completion white horse hill trail come on man continue event pick the Renault and let it load in all these silly little dances i have turned the background music off because the last thing i want is copyright strikes but White Horse Hill Trail, we're here. Start race event. Keeping it the same as before, traction on, stability off, and on highly skilled. Eighth place, let's see if I can now take some of these lot here. Okay, I've passed you into fifth. You've got this group up here, should be able to pass you lot without too many issues because you're all bunching up quite well. Which means as soon as you can get past them, you get big gains. There you go. Fourth, third, Batley Mahoney for second. And I've got the welcome pack in first. Yeah, shock horror. But I've got past you 
in my last two ones and I'm going to get past you on this one. There you go, you've hit the brakes for some unknown reason. I've just sailed past you. Bye. Come on. Around here, take the flag out, take some road signs. And up the hill, I've got a nice hard braking turn up here when I get onto the dirt. I'm going to have some fun around here. Bit careful because I almost missed the checkpoint and you lot are right up behind me again. So this is now foot to the floor. Let's give a little drift round there. Completely messed that up. Completely and utterly. Normally I can sail around there without any problems but I went straight into a barrier. And I'm back down to second. And you're showing off there when you drive the lines. And completely gone to a field. I'm actually losing the plot here. Let's go. Let's do this properly, shall we? Come on. Round here. Tap of a barrier. You're still ahead of me, but I can definitely catch up with you. Hitting a tree. It's not my event, miss, is it? I tell you. Absolutely flying my last ones. This one's. I'm making silly little mistakes. But never mind. I'm still going to catch up with you. You're not going to beat me. Even though you are beating me. I'm not going to let you do that. So round here into a barrier. And I've managed to cut you up there. So first place. Fantastic. 86% of the way through. So come on. Hit the brakes a little round there. Go around this way. And... Try not to miss anything or hit anything. Get a nice little drift round and the finish line's right there. So foot to the floor, go, go, go. And another first place. So that's 20 points extra on the board, giving me a total of 60. But more importantly, it gets me the championship completion. There you go. Downhill dash complete. Bing, bing, bing. That's the completion levels. And I get the Volkswagen GRC Beetle. 25,000 credits and 15,000 credits. And mad is that, guys? That is the event. That's the video. And that's done. So remember, if you like what I'm doing, hit that like, hit subscribe. And until next time, thank you for watching. Take it easy and happy driving.